The overview of the week for this Sunday is the book of Colossians, another one of the prison epistles, Paul writing to the faithful brethren in the city of Colossae. He starts out, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We give thanks to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, praying always for you since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and your love for all the saints. Paul is writing sometime around 60 AD, and the theme of his letter is the preeminence of Jesus Christ. In other words, Christ is superior to all. Now that can only be true if Christ is divine. And here in this letter, Paul makes some of his strongest and most clear statements regarding the deity of Jesus Christ. In chapter one, verse 15, he says that Christ is the image of the invisible God. In verse 20, he says that it pleased God the Father that in Christ all the fullness should dwell. That is the fullness of deity, the fullness of the Godhead, because in chapter two, verse nine, he says, for in Christ dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Paul wrote these things because there were many false doctrines starting to creep into the church. Jewish legalism, asceticism, which is an extreme form of self-denial. And these things may have been combined with an early form of what became known as Gnosticism. Uh, Gnosticism was one of the early heresies that threatened the unity of the Christian church. The Gnostics believed that while God was good, they said all physical matter was evil. This led some into denying the true humanity of Christ. The Gnostics worshiped angels and also sought mystical experiences along with a secret hidden knowledge that only a few people were privileged enough to have. The Gnostic gospel therefore was a false gospel and the Christ of Gnosticism was a false Christ. Paul warns of these things and other false belief systems in chapter two, verse eight, and we'll close with this. He says, beware lest anyone cheat you through philosophy and empty deceit, according to the tradition of men, according to the basic principles of this world and not according to Christ. So stay close to Christ, ignore the vain philosophies around you. <laughs>